Right, what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well and keeping safe out there in the world at this current time. And today I have some news regarding a certain person in a particular line of work which I never thought would be involved in something like this. We've all heard of the celebrities that have been in the papers for committing offences, acting stupid, They've also been on TV in public meltdowns which have been shown to us numerous times and we've watched it and we've all laughed at how stupid it is and the reasons behind their public meltdown that is just ridiculous. But this guy's name is Justin Rolland, creator of the TV series Rick and Morty and the man who is also involved in the High on Life game that just released late last year. He's been charged with two offences which I'll be covering in a moment but before I do if you have enjoyed what you've heard by the end of the video don't forget to do what it says at the bottom of the page and that's leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, help support the channel. You can follow me on the social media websites listed on the page here also. And with all that out of the way, let's get into today's video. Justin Rowland, best known for creating the popular Adult Swim adult animated science fiction comedy series Rick and Morty, is facing charges related to an alleged domestic violence incident from 2020. He was charged in Orange County, California with one count of domestic battery and false imprisonment by menace, violence, fraud and or deceit. Rolland had pleaded not guilty in 2020. On Thursday, he appeared in court for a hearing before the trial begins regarding the said incident that allegedly occurred on or around January the 19th, 2020. Currently, there is no date that has been set for the trial just yet. The court documents say Rolland was free on a bond of 50,000 US dollars. His attorney, T. Edward Wellborn, said in a statement to Variety, quote, It is hard to overstate how inaccurate the recent media coverage of this situation has been. To be clear, not only is Justin innocent, but we also have every expectation that this matter is on course to be dismissed, once the DA's office has completed its methodical review of the evidence. We look forward to clearing Justin's name, and help him move forward as swiftly as possible. And that unfortunately is all the information that we have so far. If anything else should surface after this video, then I'll definitely update you on that. So, if you have enjoyed what you've heard, just to recap, don't forget to do what it says at the bottom of the page. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you think of the whole situation. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, help support the channel. You can follow me on the social media websites listed on the page here also. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourself out there in the world and bye bye for now.